This is probably our most dangerous mission we've ever taken. Uh, oh no! All right, don't don't tip. I need to go along with the waves here. I gotta get turned here because we're getting hit on our side. Kind of doing a little bit of a flight here, checking out the islands. But actually, you can hear the wind up here. It feels like the wind's maybe kind of kicking the helicopter around a bit. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks, and today we are back in the career mode. Now today we're going to be doing a little bit of career mode, and we might do a bit of creative mode. I want to kind of grind away, finish some missions, may do a little bit of building here in the career, and I eventually want to unlock the new island uh, that's available for sale to make it to where we can start to spawn bigger vehicles and think of bigger ideas for career. So. We've already got a mission available to us here today. Apparently, we need to go reset a weather buoy. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is kind of weird. So let's go ahead and activate that. That is... How far is that away? Uh, oh, it's not actually that far. So, last episode, which, by the way, if you're new to the Stormworks series, I'm going to flash the series playlist up in the top right corner. Uh, but the last episode, we actually built our first custom ship, and we did some boat towing. Now, our custom ship has some flaws to it, admittedly. Uh, it is the Komodo Custom. I believe it's this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and spawn it. Uh, a lot of you guys gave me some really, really great suggestions about correcting the craft. Uh, really, the only problem with it is the whole fact that it looks like it sets halfway in water because it really isn't setting high enough off the ground uh, to clear a lot of the... <laughs> I guess to clear the water, water line because the water line just kind of goes through all the boats at the moment. So we're gonna go take on this mission here. This sounds like a simple mission in theory, and then we're probably gonna come back and raise this boat up a bit. Uh, my idea is just to go ahead and get rid of the bottom of it and skew it out even further. Maybe about another, I would say add about another two or three blocks to the bottom of this boat. That should get it to where it clears uh, the water line. Now one more thing I do wanna mention is the whole fact that you guys were great about the suggestions on the last episode about the passengers. I was complaining, and it was my fault for not knowing how to do it, uh, about not being able to set down the passengers in the back of the boat after you rescue them, and apparently you have to just carry them and set them in the seats. So I will be sure to do that if we have any rescue missions here today. But anyways, uh, let's get out to this buoy. It is, well, it's not that far away. Okay, so we are coming up on the weather buoy right now. I really hope I don't need any obscure tool or something on the boat in order to fix this thing. I have a feeling we're just going to go up to here and just like hit a switch and it should be good to go. I'm not really sure, but this is the first time I've seen a weather buoy out in the water and what do we need to do here? Looks like we're going to pull up alongside. Let's go ahead and lose some speed. Okay, well, it's just a big buoy. It looks like we can actually climb up on top of it. So let's go ahead and kill the boat here and let's go ahead and hop into the water. This is kind of cool looking, actually. Uh, so we can climb up it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to be climbing up to the top of this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's walk up here. This seems dangerous. Like, really dangerous. And, uh-oh. I see logic. Please tell me it's just this button. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's just the button. Does this actually work? Hold on. Let's uh, let's stand back a bit. I'm kind of uh, curious to see. Do they, like, blink? Oh, it does blink. All right. So that's what all that logic was there for. Okay. Well, that was actually... That was probably the easiest mission I think we've ever done in Stormworks. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't think... I guess the missions are at random, so I don't think that it tries to skew, skew them by, like, difficulty. And, up, oh, I just ran into the <laughs> weather buoy. Oops, we just fixed that. Sorry. I uh, apologize. But yeah, uh, I guess they don't actually skew the difficulty of the missions out, because I figured, all right, we were going to run into something even harder today, but... That was not too bad, so we're going to take this back to the uh, the garage or the dock here, and we're going to do a bit of work on this boat while we wait for our next mission here. Okay, so we are back here in the workshop. Now, what I was talking about earlier about making this boat a bit taller, what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and delete uh, this whole bottom section, basically. So we'll go all the way till about right there, so that exposes the the bottom here and we're gonna move the propellers down those are gonna need to move down and the rudders here so we're gonna basically add I wanna say maybe two we're probably gonna try two blocks down and I think that's gonna make it to where we pretty much clear the water line makes the boat a little bit taller 
and I think it's going to overall look a little bit better. And the other thing that I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to move the bottom rudders that were on here. Uh, I noticed that the tail of the boat swings really wide, almost like a, oh, it's like it's power sliding. I kind of want to move them up a little bit to see if that will fix it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do a little time lapse here and uh, get to building. Here we are, we're gonna go ahead and spawn the new ship in the water, it's bouncing, it's bouncing, and I still, you know, actually I think it's pretty much clear, it's still bouncing right now, but it does appear to be setting a little bit higher, yeah, definitely it is setting up a little bit higher off the, off the water line, it's still not perfect, but I feel like the added additions and the uh, replacing of the rudders down in the bottom should work out pretty good. I also added a couple more little connectors to it. But yeah, we are ready to uh, pack it up for the night, and we're going to go ahead and wait and see what mission we can take on next. Alright, today is going to be a bit of a test. Now, it appears that we've actually gotten this mission before. This is the, uh, there's pilots down in the water right now. And what has changed here, uh, it is absolutely choppy out in the uh, ocean right now. The wind's whirling around so this is going to be a bit of a tough mission after this i do believe we are going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this on the map there's an island up here for sale that definitely we can afford uh, so we are going to be buying that here after this mission but let's go ahead we're going to get in the water real quick and our, our boats our boats almost gone uh, it almost left us here yeah we're going to get in the water here and let's go ahead and test this thing out and let's go get these pilots out of the uh, ocean here now, it is, like I said, quite a bit more windy, so I do feel like it's going to get choppy out here. So this should be a pretty good test. As you can see, the water line has gone down on the boat. It's still not perfect. I probably could have went about one more block up on the top portion, and I think we would have cleared it. But it definitely feels quite a bit better. It's actually quite a bit faster feeling for some reason. Uh, we might need it for this mission because these waves are probably going to get pretty insane. So yeah, we're going to try to get out to these pilots as quick as possible to get them out of the water because I'm not sure how long anybody can last in seas like this. Oh boy, these waves are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they're not white capping, but they are really, they're just so uneven. Like this pattern looks different than what I've seen before. Uh, this is going to make it really tough to get these uh, pilots up into the boat here. Uh, I can see the rescue helicopter to the right. That actually looks different than the last helicopter. Either this, uh, maybe they have really bad luck with, uh, naval training exercises. Alright, so we got one survivor here. Where is the other survivor? Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Alright, this is gonna take a little bit of patience here. Oh, this is terrible. We need a helicopter for this. We really need to get that new island. Uh, that way we have a, we'll have an actual hangar. All right, I'm going to hop off the boat here, try to get into the water. Hopefully our boat doesn't leave us. Okay, you're going to need to follow us. Can I pick you up in the water or have I already done that? Okay, I've got a hold of them here. So I'm going to do what you guys said. Uh, you guys said I need to actually, uh, let's go ahead and climb up. Actually, I might be able to just get up in the boat. All right, so let's go ahead and place the passenger in the seat. There we go. Works like a charm. The other survivor's a little ways off. Let's go ahead and get in the boat. Uh, my whole objective here is to not capsize in the water because I will not be able to rescue this boat in these seas. This is probably our most dangerous mission we've ever taken. Uh, oh no! Oh, don't, don't tip. I need to go along with the waves here. I gotta get turned here because we're getting hit on our side and it's trying to tip us over. So we need to try to get to the survivor. 
where you at, buddy? I see your icon, but I don't see him in the water. Uh, let's hope he hasn't gone under here. Okay, he's right there. Where are you at? Uh, I'm waiting for him to pop up. He must be underwater somehow. I've not seen him. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to park the boat. Let's try not to run him over. Uh-oh. 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. We're going to angle the boat like this. Hopefully, it will not tip over here. Let's go ahead. Jump in the water. Wow. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and get you. All right, pick you up. I'm going to try to get these guys to safety here. There we go. Get in the passenger seat, and let's book out of here before we get uh, tipped over. It uh, looks like we have to take him to the hospital, which isn't too far away, but I've got to be... Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, this, these waves are really trying to tip me over right now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this would be a job for either a helicopter or maybe even a bigger, like, almost one of those Coast Guard cutters. Which I did see a couple of them like that on the workshop. There's still nothing quite as big as the ones that you see uh, the Coast Guard actually use, but uh, there's some impressive stuff up stuff. But yeah, there's some impressive. But yeah, there's some impressive stuff up there that we probably we might even be able to just buy some of that for the uh, campaign here. Say if it's something I can't figure out how to build. All right, it seems we have cleared probably the worst of the water. Uh, it's starting to calm down right around this island here. This is really just the uh, the hospital island uh, that we're going to drop these two guys off at, earn a little bit of money, and it's going to be time to finally purchase our new island. I'm kind of curious if it starts to switch the missions up. Maybe it starts to give you harder stuff uh, when you unlock the next island. So really curious about how that's going to work. Let's go ahead and just kind of park our boat right upside this. Hopefully this doesn't tip over. But yeah, we're going to unload these two, and we are going to go ahead and head over and buy that new island. All right, it is another beautiful day, and it is time to buy another island here. So, I'm kind of curious. Do I need to just click on it here? Do I need to actually... I might actually have to go to the island. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to make a little bit of a trip over. So, we're just going to take our normal boat. It uh, looks to be maybe a bit foggy out. I don't know. The oil rig's a lot harder to see uh, from here. So, I'm about to use the map to navigate back over to the new island. But this should hopefully unlock some more possibilities here in the career mode. So we're going to fire up, head over to that island, and see what it is. I believe it's the same one from the creative mode that you start off in. So it should have like a hangar, and it should have a bigger boat dock. Uh, this boat dock, of course, is really small, so you're really limited to how big of a, uh, a vessel you can actually have. So let's see. I've got my bearings right. Is that it over? No, it's actually up here. I was about to go to the wrong island. So we need to go around our current island, which I need to do a bit of exploring on these islands because there is these little boxes with stars on them. I think we've only found one in the uh, first episode where it actually contains parts, I believe. And I feel like that might actually contain some, maybe some rare parts. I don't really know. Uh, or it might even just have some money in it. So yeah, we're going to head over to that island right up here. And apparently we might still have a craft over here. We might need to collect that too and put that up. But Let's head over here and try to find a boat dock on this island. All right, so here we are at the new island. I'm actually kind of confused. This doesn't look like it's the island from the uh, from the creative mode. This actually looks like a boat dock, or like a boat ramp, I should say. All right, well, I guess we can stop right here. I, I want to say maybe there's a dock around here somewhere. Oh, the weather, weather is like really bad right now. It's uh, foggy, and I've never seen that before in the game. But yeah, this appears to be a bit of a boat dock. Okay, there should be a for sale sign around here somewhere so we can purchase this island. That's probably it right there. Oh, this is a helipad. Okay, is there anything else island-wise for sale? I wonder if when we buy this one, it maybe unlocks the next one. Uh, let's see, island for sale, Stormworks Real Estate. Uh, well, I can't really call this guy, but we can purchase the island, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right. So now we have the possibility for helicopter missions. Problem is, I've got to learn how to fly a helicopter in Stormworks. That might be easier said than done. We might have to download some workshop helicopters and test them out to see if we can even learn this. Now, the question is, is there anything else to this island here that I need to know? I kind of wish there was a little dock over here, which I don't know why there wouldn't be. Maybe on the other side? Uh, let's get up in this tower here and see what we can see. I'm assuming this is our new living quarters 
uh, for this island here. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Uh, let's check this out. Do we have any lights in here? Oh, apparently there is. I don't see a switch, but yeah, there's lights. Uh, let's climb the tower here and see what's actually on the inside here, because I'm kind of curious. I've always wanted to do a little bit of exploring in the game. Alright, let's pop this open here, and ah, uh, yeah, we're getting pretty high up in the air. Okay. Let's see, what's this in here? Okay, this appears to- ooh! Uh-oh. Oh, he's got uh, nice posters there. Alright, so what is all this? A control panel, looks like we can sleep in here. Uh, what's up here at the top? Is this just another observation deck? Or what? Oh, check this out! Oh, too bad we couldn't interact with a lot of this. This would be kind of cool. It's like a little watch station. Oh, did that light up? Or is that always... Okay, it's just the uh, map here. Kind of cool if we can use a telescope. Ah, uh, look at that. There's one of those little boxes over there on that hill. Uh, that would actually uh, get us some parts, I believe. We'd have to actually go collect that. I don't know if I feel like doing that quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to walk around here. Uh, we're probably going to jump over in the creative mode. And, oh, look at that. That is so cool. So yeah, we're probably going to jump over in the creative mode real quick. And I want to test out some helicopters uh, and stuff, maybe some other little crafts before I commit to buying anything or building anything here in the career mode with my own money. So we're going to save it here and we're going to hop over to the creative mode. Okay, so we are back in the creative mode here. This is the island I actually wanted in career mode. Uh, this island is so awesome. It has the big hangar. It's got the really big boat dock on it. Uh, it's got like a longer dock over here, or almost looks like a runway over on that side. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of limited what we can do in career mode still. I know we can do helicopters, and I haven't tried to actually build one yet. Uh, I've got a couple that I've downloaded here, and I'll link the uh, creators down in the description. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't actually show them here when you uh, say you try to load up the blueprint from Steam Workshop. Which a lot of people are amazed. Uh, yes, there is a Steam Workshop on here. It doesn't work directly from the game. You actually have to go to the Community Hub and then download the creations from there. So this is probably going to be a total fail. This is why we're doing this in creative mode because I have no clue how to fly these. Uh, this would be a big waste of money. Uh, where are you going? Okay. Uh, let's see. Stop. Stop. <laughs> how do you stop? What the heck was that? Hold on. Where are you going? I'd like for you to stop rolling. Hey, this helicopter has a mind of its own. It's just kind of going wherever it pleases. There's a handle here I'm trying to get a hold of. Okay, come on, grab the handle, grab the handle. Is it windy out today? Is that what's doing this? Stop moving, helicopter. Stop it. Stop, stop. I'm going to return you to the workbench if you don't listen to me. All right, so I am almost 100% sure I'm going to get fired for that one. Huh. Well, it kind of floats. Alright, let's go back to the uh, the workshop here. Let's see if we can find a helicopter. I don't know what it is about that helicopter and why it's taking off like that. Let's go try to find something a little bit smaller, maybe. Alright, so we have another helicopter here. This one says it has a fully detailed dash that you can read. And that's kind of what I need to learn what the controls are. Oh, this one's got, actually got a little magnet on the side, too. And winch. Cool. I like the way this thing looks. It's got... Kind of a, a very unique look to it with the uh, the nose there. Uh, let's see, the door opens on the side. Okay, I can dig this. This is not bad. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so we have wheel brakes, connector, auto hover. So there's an auto hover in here. Engine ignition, search lights, and navigation lights. Okay, so let's go ahead. Crank up the ignition here. Turn on our navigation and I uh, probably don't need the search lights. Uh, the wheel brakes. Go ahead and put those on because it feels like we're tipping over here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to hover forward. There's an auto hover. How does that work? Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. It feels nice. Now I gotta figure out how to raise altitude here. As soon as I can figure it this actually feels like it's raising by itself. Kind of actually having to counter it a bit to get it out of the hangar. Once again, a very, very dangerous uh, takeoff here. Okay, let me work with this one just a bit here and see if I can maybe figure this one out just a bit better. All right, here we go. I figured this one out fairly quick. Uh, this one seems to use the uh, the arrow keys to actually control the up and down, and it actually uh, controls, I guess, the tail rotor, and then you can kind of tilt with the WASD. This feels good. You know what? This might be one of the helicopters we either need to model after or we might need to buy this helicopter in the career mode. 
Uh, this one's already attached with a winch, and I'm not really sure if anybody can answer down in the comments below. Uh, can you winch people? So if I were to lower that winch, say trying to do one of those high uh, risk rescues, maybe on the side of an oil rig or people in the water, could I just lower that winch and actually attach people to that? Uh, this is cool though. I really, really dig this helicopter. This feels good. These uh, flight controls are really tight on this game. Kind of doing a little bit of a flight here, checking out the islands. It actually, you can hear the wind up here. It feels like the wind's maybe kind of kicking the helicopter around a bit. I wonder what this thing's like without the auto hover. I'm kind of curious. Uh, there's the starting island. There is the hospital, which the hospital actually has a helipad on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's the island. The one that we bought is way back there. Uh, this one, I don't think this is the same setup or layout as my career one. Uh, it seems like it kind of randomizes it. But, you know, I'm actually not sure that island there that we were just on for creative. I'm not sure that island actually spawns. Either that or I just have not been able to spot it yet. But yeah, this is definitely really, really cool creation. Uh, like I said, all the workshop links will be linked down in the description. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to try to build something close to this, or we might just buy this one and start to complete some more missions. I'm kind of curious, ever since we have actually unlocked uh, the island with the helipad, if it's going to try to give us maybe more helicopter-based missions. Uh, but this is definitely one I want to go buy. Uh, we're going to actually, let's go over to the career mode real quick and load in and just see how much this thing would cost. All right, we are back in the career mode. We are here at our little hangar. Now the only thing I fear with this little hangar is that we're gonna have to actually build a small aircraft when we get around to it. Let's go ahead and see if we could buy something like uh, the helicopter that we were just using. And oh, nope, it is not large enough. So no, we cannot do that here in this hangar, which is kind of a bummer. So we'll need to actually buy a bigger hangar. Did they unlock something else as far as to buy? No, we have not yet. So yeah, we're going to have to actually probably create or find a very small helicopter if we want to take on some helicopter missions. I kind of wish you can just spawn it out here, but apparently you can't. So yeah, we'll have to save that for future episodes here, but hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. If you want to get into the alpha of this game, I think it's still available uh, for maybe another week or two. Uh, down in the description below, so if you'd like to sign up for that, try to get in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. If you have any suggestions for the series, you want to see more career, you want to see more uh, creative mode, just let me know down in the comments below. And hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Thank you.